looks interesting. Let's try some of these. All right, what's up, y'all? Today, doing a little quarter ounce jig head. And uh, just pulled out this little kind of like a minnow. What the heck? How do I make sure I rig this thing right? Uh, it looks like a minnow. It's a Berkeley gulp. And kind of looks like a gudgeon imitation. So this water getting nice and cool. Yeah. All right, so this is the lure I'm going to start with. Quarter ounce jig head, this little minnow thing. I don't know, sometimes I like bright colors, a little bit more scent in the winter time. Just give the fish a little extra some, some. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh really? I got I got a fish. Look at that first cast, dead sticking. That's that Berkeley gold. Yeah, it's redfish or a trout. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Look at that first cast, dead sticking. Kidding me? What's up you guys? Today I'm out here fishing with my buddy Dan with DC Sticks. Dan, turn the camera around. That's what up? <laughs> and you guys, my first cast. Didn't even do an intro for y'all yet. I did first cast just pulled out a 20 inch 21. 21. Oh, stay still. Easy. He's a little shy in front of the camera. 21 inch trout, y'all. Look at that. On a Berkeley Gulp. Sweet. Just right there, y'all. Right on this uh, Berkeley Gold. Little gudgeon type style. These trout right here in the wintertime, they, you know, start feeding on these like little minnows, gudgeons, and it was literally just dead sticking. Like, I casted it out and I was adjusting my drag, adjusting the trolling motor, and pulled this fat so out. So, anyways, y'all, 21 inch trout. That's what wintertime trout fishing is all about. So that's it. That's what we're doing today. And I'm out here fishing with my buddy Dan. So uh, Dan's a local YouTuber. So you guys definitely subscribe to his channel, Fish DC Sticks. There's a lot of kayak fishing. He's also a custom rod builder in the area. So Dan and I, this is what we're out here today. All right, y'all. There it is. That was crazy, dude. All right, y'all. We're just fishing this like outgoing tide. We've got this creek water's coming out and we've got a deep hole right here and uh these fish are just stacked in here i didn't have time to set my drag or anything all right you guys so winter time what we're doing is we're targeting these spots that um like you know would normally hold fish shallow but we're just pulling off to where we have like a deeper hole so it's actually like eight to ten feet of water right here in this area and then we've got tons of like just nice structure grass beds everything this, it, this uh, creek holds more water depth than a lot of the other ones do. So that's why uh, we're fishing here in this specific spot because it's this creek uh, tends to be a little bit warmer water just because the depth is a little bit more than just like a two or three foot creek. It's, you know, eight foot. So that's what you guys want to be looking for this time of year is just some like deeper water that these fish can have access to if it if the temperature drops too much overnight uh then you know these fish don't get affected too too much so this time of year what they'll do is these fish will just like hang out and school up in this deeper water you guys catch one there's probably gonna be a lot more around too there's a fish there we go running towards the boat i don't even think he knows he's hooked yet Little one. Exactly. Got like a gold color to these trout. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's really forgiving. It's my bass, so it's just a good trout. Yeah. There's one. Dang, son. Good fish. That's a good one. Man, that guy smoked it. Good head shakes. Yeah, it's probably another 20. 
just as fat as the other one. We'll take it. You guys, this is insane. We haven't even been out here for 10 minutes and just catching these fat sows right here. We're gonna let this guy go. But uh, these soft plastics, just fishing them slow. We're fishing a quarter ounce jig head, but a lot of my buddies, they also fish like a one eighth ounce jig head, just that slower fall rate. Kind of mimics like a mirror lure, just a slower fall rate. And I really like this lure that I'm fishing today because, you know, again, these fish right now, what they want, they're just packing on the LBs. These fish are totally in bulking season right now. So they want an easy meal with a lot of protein in it. So even like a big shrimp can work right now, or just a, a lure, uh, um, lure, a, even just like a like minnow imitation can work really good you guys as well. So that's why mirror lures, Paul Brown's, Paul Brown's like really good. This time of year, I'm probably gonna be fishing one of those, but look at that gator mouth. It's a giant. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. We need to get Dan on some of these. <laughs> really good redfish spot right here. Fish? Yep. Ooh, that's good. Dang. All right, y'all. Second fish. No, third. I don't know what it is. Fourth, maybe. Giant. Good. Hey, buddy, buddy. They're close to 20 inch. Next off. Yeah. All right, y'all. We are just slaying today. This is a 21 inch trout. That's definitely a gator trout. Giant. Look at the belly on that thing. That's so sick. You guys, if you guys don't think you can catch fish in the winter time, you are wrong. This fish is just a stud. This is some of the best time of the year to get out and just catch numbers and also size of speckled trout and redfish for that matter. So. That is a nice trout. All right, I've got one that I'm keeping. I'm gonna let this guy go, uh, or girl. So we're gonna let this let this fish go and let it grow. Dang, that is a nice fish. All right, y'all, one more look at this beautiful speckled trout. Oh my gosh. All right, buddy. She gone. All right, let me show y'all how I'm rigging this up quarter ounce jig head got our little Berkeley gulp on here okay so all I'm doing is just putting the hook in right here and you want to make sure that the hook comes flush out the middle of the back so that when it sits on your jig head it looks just like that that's exactly how you want it to look right there perfect profile bait right here it's not too big you know I really like this bait if uh, Y'all watch this trout video that Chris and I did exactly a year ago from right now We were using these same baits. So we actually were using these in pearl white But I don't know why I had this like chartreuse color on here, but it's working really well I think it's just it's just more about the profile and the action of these baits. All we're doing is we're just hopping it off the bottom and uh, Definitely a meal that these trout. It's just way too easy for the trout to resist even if they're a little bit slower and lethargic. All right, let me show you all how I'm working this lure. So these jig heads, these quarter ounce jigs are, and eighth ounce for that matter, are in my mind, perfect for this time of year. It's actually, this is a bait, a lure you can fish any time of year. So all I'm doing is casting it out and I'm reeling down my slack and just slow hops off the bottom. I'm reeling down my slack hopping it up, reeling down, hop, that's it. And all we're doing is we're just hopping this bait right off the bottom. Very easy action, very easy to fish.
in my mind, more effective than live bait. And yeah. That's the cast right there where you just did. Yep. Nice. Big one, right? Yeah, it feels pretty good. Oh, Red. Nice. All right, guys, it's definitely a cold bite here today. All right, y'all, check this out. So we're fishing the mouth of this little creek right here. It's a tiny, tiny creek. But this tide is just ripping out of here. And then there's like little swirls right here. You probably can't see this on my GoPro. Dan's getting whacked. Dan just caught a redfish right out here. But you guys, that's what y'all want to do in the winter time. These fish, they'll actually come up in here as well. Sometimes on a warmer day, like right now, it's closer to 60 degrees. So they'll come up in these little tiny creeks like this. Here you go. Ah. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, so yeah, so these fish, they'll push way up in here, especially with these muddy creeks. It's a cliche, but it's very true that, you know, these dark bottom, this water is like darker color. It's like a tan color to it. It's because the ground is all mud, but that allows uh, more heat because if the ground's dark then it's gonna hold more heat So these fish are gonna come up in here and uh, try and get a little bit more warmth And then they're also gonna come up in here and look for an easy meal as well. So what we're also doing is uh, Well, hopefully Dan's trying not to get hooked right now uh, Well, Dan's actually on the bottom right now But what we're also doing is we're also targeting some of these deeper holes that are right at the mouth of this little creek as well